Welcome once again to Educator.com. And now that you've made your characters, your characters need to do something, right? Well, that something is about making a plot. Some plots are more interesting than others, and I'm going to show you how to make an interesting plot. First off, let's review the goal for the little short story that we're putting together. And the emphasis is on the word short. You are not writing a 50,000 word novel. You can do that for your NaNoWriMo, which I'll maybe explain later and let you guys know about some other time. Um, you are also not putting together a movie script. And this is not going to be overly complex. What is a short story? Well, a short story is more like a 30 minute TV episode than a long feature length film. And it is probably limited to a few characters and a few locations. And it's just generally small in its scope. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that maybe instead of writing an epic fantasy or a space opera or dramatic love story, it's probably just a simple thing that's maybe going on between five people living in you know, a small town or a small city. It's nothing cataclysmic or huge. Always remember, when writing your first short story, and actually stories in general, is to just keep it simple. Keep it simple. People like simple stories, believe it or not. So, for this lesson, we're going to be going over kind of some basic structures of a story. Just like the five paragraph essay, and just like other things, stories have structure. And I'm going to teach you this thing called the lock system, which is something that normally applies to you know, large novels, but can apply to short stories too. And of course, we also have the three-act structure, which we have already gone over, but we're still going to be kind of reviewing here for the purposes of your story. Now, as a caveat, I would like to remind you, and I will remind you at the end, that you write first, edit later. Remember. I'm teaching you things that the left brain is going to use, but when you're writing, the left brain is on vacation. And after you finish your first draft, then you kind of, you know, get into this outline. So, LOCK is an acronym. L-O-C-K. What does L stand for? L stands for lead character. Okay, first off, this lead character must be interesting enough to attract the reader's attention. Additionally, this reader must have a goal that the reader can relate to and usually approve of. Do you want to read a story about a horrible person? Probably not. So you want that reader to relate. And you want that reader to relate to this character because they have a goal that we like and that we want them to achieve because, you know, we're good people too. Also, if this character is not sympathetic, if it's somebody we don't like, then they should at least be intriguing. You know, as much as we don't want a boring lead, we also don't want a boring villain. Boring villains, you know, don't entertain us too much. We have to be intrigued and interested in the villain too. So, think about all the characters you made from the last lesson. Which one of them do you think is the most interesting? And then maybe that should be your lead character. 